Hello, my name is Nathan Lucas, lead application scientist at Biology. Folks ask me a lot about cell hashing and hashtags, what exactly those things are. Cell hashing is a method that enables sample multiplexing and superloading on single cell partitioning platforms. Cell hashing in Biologen uses a series of oligotag antibodies against ubiquitously expressed markers with different barcodes to uniquely identify samples, unique, uniquely identify cells from various sample sets. By sequencing these tags alongside their cellular transcriptome, one can assign each cell to its sample of origin and robustly identify doublets that originate from various sample sets. Hash tags can be used to label cells individually and can be reused using non-redundant indices. They are a cost-effective way to take advantage of a full set of, of the full capacity of a single cell partitioning well. Some other ways you can use hashtags are for superloading, where one could load a number of cells into one well, vastly exceeding the actual number of cells suggested to load in the well, which enables considerable cost savings for doing single cell RNA seq Some other advantages of using hashtags would be it limits batch effects where you see some changes from day-to-day -day use or from lab tech to lab tech or from instrument to instrument where you're actually analyzing the same sample. Another advantage of using hashtags would be to capture cells with low RNA content where you can stain these cells with the hashtag and reassign them back to the sample of origin, even though their transcriptome may not be as active as some other cell sub subtypes. Finally, one advantage would be, another advantage would be to stain samples that contain rare cell populations, where if a researcher who normally may not be interested in using single cell RNA-seq because they just don't have the number of cells required for the application itself, one could use hashtags to build up their number of cells and pool those together, allowing them to then load them all into one level. Some technical considerations with using hashing reagents. For TotalSeq A, Hashtag read depth can be optimized in two distinct steps, during the cell staining step and downstream during library pooling. This is because the hashtag library can be separated from the ADT library or antibody derived tag library during downstream processing. However, this is not so using TotalSeq B and C formats, where one can only establish amount of antibody used during the staining step. Now, one would want to do this because we want to minimize the amount of excess reads. For a positive cell, one only needs 500 reads from a hashtag to identify the sample of origin it's coming from. The main takeaway here is we want to emphasize the amount of antibody we use is important so that we can limit the excess reads, yet enable ourselves to identify the sample of origin each cell is coming. To learn more about hashtags and their utility, check out our app now.